I ne- I never claimed that um, Allah is the God of the Bible. The Quran claims it. Does it? Yeah, it says that the same Allah who sent down the Quran sent down the scriptures for the Injil, which you know that that you sure about that? that? You yeah, don't want Arabic to is Injil, right? Yeah, but you don't want to go there assuming that the Injil is not the New Testament. I promise you don't want to go there. Because okay, we, we 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 can if you want to. We can. Okay, now you said the Injil. That sounds interesting. Okay, here let's yeah. do it. Okay, well, let's let me show you. What is the Torah according to you? That the Quran mentions revelation given to Musa. Okay, I'm going to give you one hundred thousand dollars, and I'll have everyone take shahada if you can show me in the Quran it says the Torah was given to Musa in the Quran. I told you you don't want to go there, but you insisted. I'll give you one hundred thousand dollars, which I don't have, and everyone who's going to become Muslim, show me a single verse says, and we gave the Torah to Musa. Don't show me a verse where it says we gave Musa the Kitab, the book. Kitab is not the same as Torah. And even okay. in Islamic sources, the Salaf Salih said that the word Torah doesn't just mean the books of Moses. It refers to the scriptures of the two, the two scriptures of the people of the book. So where'd you get that the Torah was given to Moses? Can you show me the verse in the Quran? Not off the top of my head, no. It's not there. Okay. I'm telling you, and I'm gonna prove it to you. It's not there, but I don't know why it doesn't come. So out. you so you so you think that when the when the Quran says Torah, it's referring literally to the old testament? I'm not saying that your Muslim translators admit this because I'm gonna quote them in a minute. But before I do that, here, let's go with Injil because it's singular, not an Injil. Never heard that one before. All right, let's read Surah Al Maida five forty six to forty seven. And in their first steps, we sent Isa, son of Maryam, confirming the Torah, the Torah that had come before him. That's not the literal translation, but we'll get to that. And we gave him the Injil, in which was guidance and light, and a confirmation of the Torah that had come before it, a guidance and admonition for al mutaqun But then it says, watch verse 47. So here's my question to you. Now Muhammad is addressing his contemporaries. Let the people of the gospel, Ahl al-Injil, judge by what Allah has revealed therein. What did they have at the time of Muhammad? How are you going to judge people. if you don't have it at the time of Because it's saying, look, Jesus came with the gospel. You people of the gospel judge by it. Judge by what? I don't know. Yeah, because the Muslims who taught you didn't teach you well. So you have to learn on your own. I know because I've been there, done that. Because they try to convert me too in the 90s. But the Lord of God, he saved me. So when you say the Injil is... Whatever it is, it's not the New Testament. How do you know that? When here it says, whatever the Injil is, it was at the time of Muhammad, the Christians had it. And if you want more proof, here, 7157, Hilali Khan, they're now going to identify the Injil for you. Watch. They're going to do it, not me. Those who follow the messenger, the prophet, who can neither read nor write, right, whom they find written with them, it's with them in the Torah and the Injil. And what did they identify the Injil here as? What's the Injil here? They gave it to you in Christ. I don't know. What is, what is that? That's a Bible verse. What is that that's verse? John. See, that's why you got to read the Bible. John 14, verse 16. So I thought, well done. And this is the Halali? Yeah, Halali Khan. Halali Khan translation. That's what I'm using right here. Halali Khan here. So in case well, okay. Hold on. Halali Khan, you see it? Right here, Halali Khan? Boom. Sure. And right here. So they're telling you this prophecy of this unlettered prophet is in the Injil. And they say, well, that's the gospel of John, chapter 14, verse 16. So wait, didn't you try to somehow deny that, that the gospel is not what I have? It's not the New Testament? How do you know that? What is, what is, what is that, 616? Chapter 14, verse 16. This is Roman numeral 10, 1. Okay, right. I means 14, verse 16. Right. It's prophecy of the paraclete. And here, Deuteronomy 18.15, a prophet like Moses. But my point is, they're telling me that the gospel that's with the Christians, Christians, is the gospel of John. Why did they tell me that? I don't know. You have to ask them. I mean, it's, it, you know it's not in the Arabic, so it's not no, really. Yeah. No, because they're, they realize that the Quran is not a fraud, which you're trying to accuse it of. Whatever the gospel is, it was there at their at their possession. So historically, so did you did you just say I was trying to say that the Quran is a fraud? No. If you do not answer, then you're accusing the Quran of fraud because the Quran is saying the gospel is there at the time of Muhammad. So they're being faithful to history and saying, well, hold on. Historically, the only gospel the Christians have is the New Testament scripture. So forget them. What did they have at the time of Muhammad? I'm still waiting for your answer. Well, okay. So the verse says, "Let the people of the 
gospel judged by what Allah has revealed therein. Therein what? I mean, that does that necessarily imply that they that they have an the so what are they going to judge the untouched by? gospel or the what un, are they the going to judge by? Read the context. Context is forty six, forty seven. The, the injil. How are they going to judge by an injil if they don't have it? They may not. I don't. I don't know. So how they go, your God is telling them judge by it. How? Right. Allah, Allah, wait, Allah, wait. We don't have it. Remember, you're not answering the. Question. I mean, maybe that maybe they have uh, part of it. And where does it say they have part of it here? I'm just Are saying that's a possibility. Adding to the Quran, which you're condemned for doing. On, say, I'm just saying that's a possibility. Can that be a possibility that they well they have part of it, but they don't? Anything have can it. be possible. It's even possible that Muhammad was a Hindu. What's possible doesn't make it probable. I want you to help me identify what the gospel is at the time of Jesus, uh, Muhammad. I'm sorry. I'm still waiting, man. Yeah, I don't know. I'll, I'll have to get back to you on it. Okay. And then here it says, those who follow the messenger prophet who can neither read nor write, whom they find written with them in the Torah and the Angel. So again, it's talking about time Muhammad, they had to turn the gospel. So help me understand what gospel did they have at the time Muhammad where Muslims could say, hey, Muhammad is there in your gospel. Yeah, yeah I, I, like I said, I have to get back to you. I don't that's know. what I'm saying. Don't come to me and say untainted gospel because I know you bought the Dawah script. The scriptures are corrupt. The Quran nowhere says they're corrupt, it says they're perfectly preserved. I know the verses that they've taught you Surat al Baqarah 275, 279, 378, 548. None of that proves their point because I've debated that issue. But put that aside. I want to again ask you, what made you think that the God of the Quran is the same God of the prophets mentioned in the scriptures? Because it talks about the prophets who are given scriptures before Muhammad and Muhammad comes in their succession. And it's supposed to be the same God. How is it the same God? <laughs> 